The Loudoun B&B Guild is an organization of owners of a variety of different kinds of bed and breakfasts and inns. So we, we all rely heavily upon one another. That's a codependency. We thought it was appropriate to join together as a, as a guild. We're a very diverse group of bed and breakfasts, uh, unlike the hotel industry that's pretty, you know, homogenous. The B&Bs are inherently part of that rural atmosphere. And I think that people need a place to go and, and get away from the city and, and the high-tech environments and so forth. And what makes it different, I think most of all, is the type of people that are still here. They're people that live rurally because they like the rural atmosphere. They enjoy one another. They enjoy community. Well, a farm stay is a guest accommodation in the context of a working farm. And then you have the category I would call, you know, the sort of mom and pop bed and breakfast where they're definitely living on the property. At the other end of the spectrum, you might have a place where an entire family can stay that might have multiple bedrooms with common areas and it might be private for that group at the time they're there. You get treated well, you have an environment in which you can do the types of things you don't normally do, that slow walk along the gravel road. Coming to a B&B, &B, you really get to feel the culture, you get to feel what the area is really about. They need that to be able to unwind. They need to be able to relax. There's no rush, there's no get up and go, next customer. There's no agenda. At a bed and breakfast or a farm stay cottage, there are things to do right there on the property. You're staying with people that have chosen to live in this part of the world, and you've chosen to visit it, so what better place to get, you know, a, a real sense of where you are. We are absolutely a world-class destination in Loudoun County, and in fact, I think our reputation is going to grow even more. I became interested in the journey through hollow ground. That is an area from Monticello in Virginia all the way up to Gettysburg. This area is rich in Civil War history. You're looking at the museums in the area be at the Railroad Museum over in Brunswick, Maryland, or you're looking at the Udvar Hazy Air and Space Museum at, at Dallas Airport. We have lots of events that take place, uh, from all the horse and equestrian events to things like the Waterford Fair that's every fall, uh, to the Epicureans event that happened on Labor Day. There's also a lot of activities to do around here. There's a lot of horseback riding. You can do the vineyards, um, bike trails, and hiking. The wineries were great. Um, we could get cheese and crackers. We brought bottles of wine to bring back here to, to drink. You could sit outside at the wineries, and they're all really close. Well, we do have a very diverse group of uh, clientele, and we uh, enjoy all of them. We have a fair number of international families that come stay with us and they may be in the United States for a 30-day stay. We meet all kinds of people. We certainly have international visitors and, and people from all over the United States. Year in, year out we have repeat visitors that just keep coming back sometimes several times a year. That's really cool that um, international business people come in and, and use the bed and breakfast. I think that they, again, are getting the more um, organic experience. We've had a lot of folks from overseas come, and consistently what they like about staying out here is it doesn't have that sterile, uptight, fast, busybody feeling. You feel a little bit like home. You sleep better. It's, it's not so noisy outside. It's like a little bit like a family, so with the breakfast in the morning. Why stay at a hotel in the Dulles uh, area when you can spend the same amount or less and be in a beautiful rural setting and yet still have all the amenities that you would have at the hotel? That's what I need, a good rest, and that's definitely better here than inside a hotel close to the airport. It's a great, great way to do business. I think one of the real benefits for having a wedding in Loudoun County is that you can consider us as a destination location. Certainly there's the opportunity to support very, very large weddings here. But likewise, those smaller weddings or the in-between, there's a vibe about that. There's a beauty and a magic about that. Probably more than anything else, it's the joy of seeing people come to our place where we work very hard and having a wonderful time there. And for us, it's a great joy to see their joy as they walk out the door, different people.